Hey y'all, it is uh, Monday, June 19th, 2023, and today is a holiday shortened trading day. In this video, uh, we're going to go over my uh, trades for the day. Um, it was a mixed bag. I'm trading a top step evaluation account. Unfortunately, I was funded, but I blew that. Um, and I'm also trading an Apex uh, evaluation account. So mixed bag. Um, I ended slightly down on the top step eval account. Um, I'll show you, uh, you know, one of my not so great trades today. I'm not going to hide the the bad trades. Um, I'm not going to be in the business of doing that. So in this video, we'll go over the trades that I uh, did well on, and we'll we'll also go over the trades that I did not do so well on. Um, I ended up on the Apex account. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm up now 2K, so I've got 18K to go to pass. Um, can't pass this week. Uh, it'd have to be until next week before I can pass. The top step account, I might have to end up resetting, but um, I still got 1K before I'd hit the trailing loss. Um, so anyways, let's get into it. So as you know, I'm trading the uh, ICT Silver Bullet model, and I will first start you out uh, with... Australian dollar. So I told you that I'd been looking for Australian dollar um, prior to the session in London. And so looking at our uh, London silver bullet time frame, uh, the Australian dollar came up into an inefficiency here. Now, unfortunately, I, I was starting to scale in, uh, you know, a little bit too early. But I ended up um, kind of the overall position was somewhere around 6.88. And then as we came down below this low here at, at spot 68675, um, I was starting to think about covering. I wanted to get down to spot 685, but we didn't quite get to that pool of liquidity. Um, but anyways, uh, London Silver Bullet played out pretty well on the Australian dollar. Um, I was a little bit impatient. I was trying to get in uh, at this inefficiency that I'm highlighting, this fair value gap. I was looking for shorts on the Australian dollar in the London session. We came all the way up to a liquidity void here, um, which is a fair value gap on the 10 minute. And so I added on a couple more there. So I ended up making money on this Australian dollar trade. Um, I was looking for a Japanese yen long. Um, and it actually would have worked out during the Asian silver bullet time frame, and I was actually looking to get long there, but I didn't. Um, during London, I got long a couple of Japanese yen futures, but as I saw that it looked like the dollar index was going higher at that time, uh, I just closed out the trade for a small loss. So that was Japanese yen. Um, and I also, on my Apex account, traded some crude oil. So during the London session, um, I was awake and I was trying to get short on a crude on crude oil, but unfortunately that was actually the wrong direction at that time. So I ended up taking a 13 cent or $130 fake dollar. It's all simulated trading um, loss on that crude oil short. However, um, crude oil did present another opportunity during the AM Silver Bullet uh, setup time. So. I ended up getting short at uh, 71 spot 86 as I saw that uh, as crude oil was trading up into an inefficiency that ended up being closed out here. So there was a fair value gap here and it, it got uh, it got closed. So it doesn't it doesn't appear as a fair value gap now. I think it might have been a volume imbalance, but there was an inefficiency here on crude oil. We had a big move up in crude oil uh, overnight. So I got short on that. I was hoping that we'd get down to 70 spot 79. We didn't quite get there. So I ended up closing the trade out for a um, 14 cent gain. And I could have let it run longer, probably should have. But uh, there was another trade that I was, I was preoccupied with. So that was our AM silver setup. And then uh, I don't, yeah, I didn't trade uh, silver in the London session. Um, my big loser for today was uh, on copper. So, well, I shouldn't even say a big loser. I held it through a lot of drawdown on both of my accounts and ended up uh, almost break even 
just a small tiny loss on my Apex account and then a little bit more of a substantial loss on the Top Step account but uh, ended up almost break even on the on the Top Step account today so wasn't a disaster by any means and we ended up positive on the Apex account so there was that um, I I was getting aggressive on this I was looking for copper to come down and trade into this sell side liquidity at three spot eight four eight probably ambitious for a, uh, coming into a holiday um, what ended up happening was there there's some liquidity voids up here around three spot eight eight seven and I could have gotten short on copper and taken a positive trade had I waited to the very end of the setup hour so the London's uh, silver setup time which is from 0300 New York local time to 0400 New York local time and at the very end of the setup hour had I had I taken the short there um, then it would have ended up being quite profitable but unfortunately I got in way early I thought that price was breaking down and uh, I was chasing this one y'all I'm not gonna lie to you and pretend like I I only take winning trades because I don't um, the model would have worked out had I waited another 20 minutes to enter so it's not the model didn't fail uh, it was just my impatience I this ended up forming copper ended up forming a, uh, a search and destroy profile so we um, we see that the Asian range was was ran to the sell side then ran to the buy side and then London was ran to the sell side and ran to the buy side and then ended up getting a little bit of an AM silver bullet trade on copper that you could have taken um, right here so there was a fair value gap here during the setup hour and then you could have ended up making a little bit of money just on this uh, AM silver setup on copper unfortunately I was just holding drawdown the whole time and on my top step account um, I was already at the point where if I closed out the trade I would have automatically failed the account so you might ask well why did, where was your stop loss well uh, my stop loss was liquidation <laughs> so it, it ran too far away from me too fast I don't have a lot of drawdown left on the top step account so anyways uh, mixed bag uh, profited on some Australian dollar shorts uh, profited on a crude oil short during the setup time um, almost profited uh, break even on a Japanese yen long as you can see I actually could have made profit had I taken it but I kind of thought the Japanese yen is forming an accumulation here I mean if you look higher Japanese yen is very uh, very beat up to the sell side so that is that uh, we go on to another day um, I am up on the apex account and if we have to reset the top step account well it is what it is so it was a mixed bag today um, one of the things that I was looking for that didn't quite look out is I was looking for relative strength leaders uh, and losers so I you know that worked out with the Australian dollar didn't quite work out with copper um, oh I did take a gold trade so gold actually had an AM silver bullet set up right here so you can see that uh, gold was trading down for most of the day and so we're drawing into uh, some lows on the hourly time frame and this big um, fair value gap on the hourly time frame on gold so I am looking for uh, another return back to like 1936 or 1945 on gold but um, so what I did here is during the AM setup time which is uh, 1000 10 to 11 uh, New York local time you can see that there was a fair value gap formed during the setup time so I went short in that fair value gap price ran against me uh, a little bit and then it came back down and it hunted just this liquidity here at 1962 spot 8 and it did come down to 1962 spot 3 but I got out at 1962 spot six so again not a um, not a perfect entry and exit but a profitable trade on gold so in terms of my number of trades uh, they were mostly profitable profited on the gold profited on the Australian dollar profited on the crude oil and on my apex account as you can see I actually scratched on the copper but on my top step account you can't trade as many contracts uh, as you can on apex so uh, took a small loss on the top step account overall um, these executions will reset they'll disappear when the trading day is over 
so that's why I wanted to get this video in before uh, the trading day was over. I will be back uh, to discuss our Asian silver setup times, which are going to be from 2000 this evening to 2100. Um, in this video, we reviewed my ICT silver setups for the holiday shortened day of Monday, June 19th, 2023. If you enjoy this content, if you enjoy the ICT silver setup model, which I am dedicated to in this video and in my trading, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I am trying to build up the viewing audience on this channel, so it would mean a lot to me if you would interact with the video. That will boost it in the algorithm. Or if you just dislike what I'm doing and dislike everything you've seen, well, then click the dislike button because that will also boost my video in the algorithm. So that would, I'd also appreciate that. Um, in addition, if you are looking to trade an evaluation account, I have my uh, Apex affiliate link in the description box below, as well as, well as my Top Step uh, Refer a Friend, which is $50 off if it's your first account. Again, my Top Step Refer a Friend is $50 off using that link in the description box below if it is your first account. And with that, this has been a review of the ICT Silver Setups for... June 19th, 2023. Sometime later in the day, I'll probably talk about uh, the markets that I'm looking for coming into tomorrow's Asian silver setup. And that was it. Bye-bye.